Hello everyone, my name is Andre McLennan and today I'll be showing you how to create a Stochastics Moving Average Trading Robot. Now guys, this video is for beginners, but I'll be going over it step by step. But before I continue the video guys, please smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel. It will definitely help out this channel. And also guys, join the Telegram. If you want to meet other traders, talk about trading and programming, it will be in the first pinned comment below. And let's begin guys. So. And basically this indicator will, I will be using a little bit differently. Uh, most people would be using it as an entry requirement. I'll be using the stochastic as an exit requirement and using the moving average as an entry requirement. So this is how a moving average will look. It basically be this line right here, this purple line. I'll be using the stochastic as an exit indicator. And here we go. I am using 833. And I'll show you how it looks, okay? So basically, we're going to be using it as a moving average cross when the cross when it crosses over and there's three candles positive, it will enter on a buy, and the exit requirement it will be when it's below the 20 by two candles, or I think two or three candles, and that's how I'm going to program the robot. So let's begin. First thing we need to do is go to MetaQuotes. It's going to be F4 or in the top left hand corner. You, you click that, and you'll have a box appear like this. And first thing we need to do is click New and hit expert advisor template and we're gonna call this uh, moving average and stochastic trading robots okay so now as you get your screen up let me get bigger so you guys can all see the first part of it and the first part of our robot we need to make sure that we organize it correctly okay so the first part we're gonna add is our indicators now first thing we're going to add are, is our moving average okay give me a second so our moving average is basically going to be uh, broken down this way we're going to start out with a double now a double is going to read out as anything that's not a whole number so like 1.556 or 25.33 we're going to call it moving average and it's going to be i M A. If you guys want to know what that is, just double click it and press F1 or go to your MQL4 reference. It'll tell you how to use it and, or if you guys want to change it up. But we're going to use very easy uh, entrance, uh, easy things to use. We're going to use null because it's going to work on all currency pairs. We're going to use it as a default time frame, which would be zero. If you guys want this looks, how it looks, it looks like this. Our peers is going to be 25. Our shift is going to be zero. Also, our our enum, our, our moving average method is going to be zero also. Our applied price will be zero and our shift will be zero. We're just going to run the current candle. And we need to create three of these separately, okay? So we can uh, scan back a little bit, okay? So now we have all three. We have our current candle, one back, two back, and three back. So that's going to be our first group of indicators for our moving average. Our second one is going to ask stochastics, okay? Now remember, the stochastics will be used as an exit requirement. Okay. Here's our stochastics. We're going to be called it stochastic zero, stochastics underscore stochastics and underscore stochastic two. We're going to use the i stochastics and same, very similar. We're going to use null zero eight three three zero 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 zero. And if you guys want to look, know how that looks, remember double click it and press F1 or go to the MQL4 reference, and you guys can get a basic breakdown what this is. And if I'm going too fast for you guys, please pause the video and uh, uh, you can catch up that way. Or if you have any issues, guys, just drop a comment below or hit me up on Telegram, okay? Uh, our next thing we're going to do is make sure that the shift is at 0, shift is at 1, the shift is at 2. Now, we're not going to be using the whole part of the uh, stochastics, just one aspect of it, but we're going to be using it as an exit requirement, okay? So let's talk about our buy entry requirements, okay? So our buy entry requirements is going to be basically how we're going to be getting into the moving average. So we're going to use uh, uh, our entry requirements, call that right here, and we're going to use a bull. A bull basically means true or false. And if you hit F1 or go to meta uh, quote uh, reference, it will give you some more information about that. We're going to call it buy signal entry. You can name it whatever you like, but we're going to make sure that the ask is greater than the moving average current. The close of one candle one back is greater than the moving average of two, and the close of two is greater than the moving average of two right here. But on the close of three, the moving average is going to be less than that. So we're going to have that cross. Okay. So our next thing will be 
But once we have that as our entry requirement, this is our exit requirements, okay? So this is going to take us out of the trade. And this is going to be exit requirements is going to be a bull buy signal exit. You can name it everything you want, but for this example, we're going to use stochastics. It has to be greater less than or equal to the 20 for the current one. Stochastics underscore, I'm sorry, it's less than or equal to the 20 for one back. And stochastics 2 has to be under 20, equal to, or I'm sorry, less than or equal to the 20. So that's our exit requirements. So now let's get to our trade conditions, okay? Now our trade condition is going to basically execute our trade. All right, here we go. And this is going to read as trade execution. We're going to do an if statement. So it's either going to be if this happens, it can go through and execute that buy order. So we're going to do buy signal entry. Double equals means it's going to verify if it's true or not. And it means double, double and means is and this has to be true too, or and this has to be whatever. Uh, total orders has to be equal zero. So when we're entering, it's going to be say, hey, there's no active orders open. So boom, and then we're going to initiate on. Uh, we're going to have an uh, int. So basically, any whole number. It's going to be a buy or order. It's going to be order send. Basically, this is going to send our order. If we want details, once again, go to the reference. It's going to give you details, and uh, I'll give some more details as we go. Once again, we're going to do is null to run on all. Uh, all currency pairs that's available. OP buy means instant execution buy. Our lot size is going to be 0 0.1. We're going to use it run off the ask price. Our slippage will be 10. And when it comes to the double stop loss, so we're using, I'm going to be using this on pound yen like I do most of my videos. The stop loss will be 100 pips. So it's going to be the ask minus 100. And then our target profit will be ask plus 350 pips. I'm going to be running this on the 30 minute and I'll give you guys uh, that in a minute. Okay. Uh, the uh, strategy test on that. Our matching number will be zero. Our expression will be zero. I'm going to run on clear uh, color Alice blue. So now we have our in indicators. We have our e entry requirements, exit requirements, and trade execution. And now our last two parts will be our exiting requirements and our notes. And the notes just to give you a, a, a visual representation of what's happening, okay? So this is a pretty easy, remember this is a very simple, easy code guys, you guys can use this, it will be on my website so you guys can access it and uh, use it in any way you like. So when it comes to the trade exit, basically we're going to have buy signal exit equals equals true. It's going to verify if it equals true. This formula right here, okay? When that's true, it's going to go through and it's going to do a for loop, it's going to scan through our active orders. It's going to be an INTI, so that means we're initiating we're creating an I order that's going to be equal to orders total, which is one. If I is greater than or equal to zero, I minus minus. So it's going to run, and then once it hits zero and continuing, it won't run anymore. We're going to select our order by uh, select position, and we're going to do mode trades. Not mode history, mode trades. If that equals true, then we're going to select order type, and if it equals a uh, instant execution or, or OP buy and the symbol matches our symbol then we're in the game money we're going to use a bull statement so close if it's true close the order close the ticket close the lots and it's going to close off the bid with the slippage of 10 and we're going to use a color blue for that and our last thing is the notes guys you guys do not need to have this but I, I like to have it in there so I can read what's happening with our, uh, with our trading robot and this is going to be basic notes we're going to use a comment and we're going to put this right here saying our account equity. We're going to do plus account equity, okay? So I, I ran that through kind of quickly, but if you have any questions, once again, comment section or Telegram, and we can discuss it more in detail. And we can go through it a little bit more. Indicators, entry requirements, exit requirements, trade execution, our trade exit, and some notes. We're going to hit compile. Runs clean. We're going to go back to MetaTrader, okay? And remember, our our, tra our expert advisor is called MA and Stock Trading Robot, okay? So we're going to go through our mass, my, this massive list. We're going to use pound yen. We're going to run on the one hour. Uh, the spread, we can use a normal spread of like 10 pips. Let's say, I'm sorry, 5 pips. And uh, we're going to look for our robot, MA and Stock Trading. Boom, okay? 
and you guys can go to the expert properties we can run on a ten thousand dollar account it really doesn't matter that size because we're only we're entering on a point one and we're gonna run it see how it goes now if you guys look for the settings behind me this is what I'm working with the robot name pound yen every tick I'm using this time frame okay and and I will also uh, pause the video so you guys can see a little bit better okay so just the pause button is basically the double brackets right there so I'm gonna change the settings so you guys can see a little bit easier and put it on candlesticks now I'm going to add our moving average you guys can get a visual representation of it so it should be entering right here so we have it enters right over here let's add our moving average and stochastics it was eight this about there okay and we have our moving average which was I think at 25 and everything was zeros so it's pretty simple 25 simple close alright see just right here and now we're gonna try it again and we're gonna run it and you can see that it's going to either hit the target profit or exit out because of the the stochastic size it did right here now uh, I this is not the default stochastics this is the one I have but you guys can use the default stochastics it probably will run a lot better and uh, yeah once it does that it will have an entry requirement and remember this is only for buys you guys can do it for buys and sells if you're looking for that just DM me I can kinda help you out I don't like to help out for everything because I'm giving so much free information already but if you're looking for a trading robot guys just let me know uh, we can discuss it I do have my pricing is pretty set if you want something more flexible like payments stuff like that just let me know we can have that discussion so we entered another trade and we'll see how it goes and if it trends if this is that's pretty good guys and it get a good reaction in the video in the comments I'm, I'll add and add more to the robot now look we took it we got hit with our target profit over here and let's see how it does we entered another trade and if it keeps on doing this this may be a good strategy so implement this strategy if you guys like it's very simple very easy to use you don't have to worry about you know multiple entries you don't have to worry about uh, what's called it being shaken out so easily because the stochastics is either going to keep it out or take it out or the moving is going to hit the stop loss so it's not that uh, it's not a big risky trading strategy either but so far we are in the money we're up by about six hundred dollars on the strategy tester now there are some drawbacks to this strategy I just wanted to make it very simple so if you guys figure out the straw about the down uh, the drawdowns let me know but I just want to make this easy trading strategy for you guys to make it very simple easy for beginners you remember any questions guys drop a comment below subscribe to the uh, channel guys help me get to 2000 and also like the video and if you guys want to have, contact me go to my website send me an email but I would prefer if you hit me up on telegram but that's the video, guys. I'll see you.